we are here to talk about really the intersection of blockchain and gaming because this is an area that you have a lot of expertise in, especially being based here in Malta. Uh, so tell me how things have developed here on the island since we last spoke about, I'd say about a year ago at this time. Yes, um, thank you, Becky. So since we last spoke, the, the, the laws um, regulating the blockchain technologies and crypto and exchange and what have you have all come into place. And everything is now um, enforced and ready for operators to get licensed. Now, this is now creating a domino effect on related sectors. So if we had to look into gaming, for instance, whereby up to maybe a year ago, a, a gaming companies to equate blockchain just to crypto. Mm. Now the, the gaming companies are seeing the potential of using blockchain technologies away from crypto. So we're now seeing gaming companies that are looking into smart contracts, for instance, and how to implement smart contracts with their affiliates. So having a smart way of contracting with affiliates, which is all automated. We're also seeing the advent of um, new KYC um, uh, technologies based on blockchain to avoid having you know, duplication of controls or duplication of requirements when it comes to registration of players. We're also seeing the, 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 the convergence of using an exchange and a cryptocurrency and a gaming bet all into one. So the, the, the developments seem to be quite interesting. Very good. I love that we're seeing some movement here. At what level do you think that the gambling industry is with actually really understanding these things? I know they know that they can do them, but what about integrating these, actually moving forward? Where are we with that? Well, um, the gaming companies, especially the larger ones, are very legacy based from a technology point of view. Yeah, yeah. So it is a bit of a paradigm shift for them to yeah. actually embrace the technology. Having said that, we have clients of ours who are you know, quite large who have actually developed um, incubation teams that are actually assessing the, 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 the technologies and how to apply them and um, coming up with migration plans as to for instance, um, moving away from a legacy database and going to a distributed database on the blockchain. Yeah. There's a whole process. It's not going to be something that can be done very fast, especially with the larger operators, but they're working towards that, that goal. So although the gaming industry maybe was a bit late in trying to understand and comprehend what was behind the DLT space, but I think they're going to start catching up. Very, very good. And this year in Malta is our second blockchain event that's been put on by the Sigma team. I'm um, sure you were here in November for the first one. Can you tell me about, compare these two events? Do you feel like the industry has moved forward? What, what's the vibe here in comparison to November? What's happening here on the floor in May 2019? No, the, the buzz is still there. Um, possibly, maybe a year ago, you know, everybody was trying to ride on the hype. So even people had no clue what blockchain <laughs> had, uh, what, you know, was involved in the blockchain did try to attend. This time round, we're seeing maybe less people, but they are much more competent. We have a stand here, um, and the people are approaching us really know their stuff, as opposed to maybe in the past whereby you'd have I don't know a real estate agent just walking uh, walking around the floor trying to get a, somebody to buy a, a property, which had nothing to do with blockchain. But this time, it's this quality, quality stuff, which is, which is, you know, um, buzzing the floor here. Awesome. That's what we love to hear, Ruben. Thank you so much. A pleasure as always. Thank you.